channel. Today's video is going to be all about skincare. And my key to perfect, flawless looking skin <laughs> is less is more. So we are going to go over some products that I personally use myself that I have found the best results with. They are going to be mostly do-it-yourself, homemade, natural products. <laughs> face masks, body washes, acne, scarring, all these things that you can do right at home. It's going to save you a lot of money and better for your skin. <laughs> so first and foremost, before we get into our products, we are going to emphasize on the key to healthy glowing skin is diet, as it is for everything. <laughs> If you are eating a whole nutrient-dense diet, fruits all have nutrients and vitamins and antioxidants. Your vegetables have vitamins and minerals in it. Everything that goes into keeping beautiful hair, skin, nails, and everything inside and out. I mean, just every single thing. So if you are restricting yourself with your diet or you eat a very poor diet, that's going to show not only physically but on your skin and your hair and your nails. A lot of people actually cut out a lot of fruits and that's where majority of what your skin is going to benefit from. So make sure that you're eating a really good healthy whole food diet. That. Now, I actually drink about a gallon of water a day, <laughs> and you, a lot of you probably aren't to the gallon yet, which is fine. You'll get to that, but you have to start with at least like 24 ounces, maybe every hour or so, and then work your way up. You get so used to it that you'll be drink a gallon, and you won't even notice anymore. You won't feel all, all bloated from water. <laughs> I mean, I'll drink a gallon, and I'm just and I'm fine. So you, it's a, it's something you have to work up to. But water, guys, is probably the ultimate key to keeping clear skin because when you sweat, whatever you're intaking comes out of your pores. So if you don't have enough water or you're eating a terrible diet, what do you think is coming out of your pores? Yeah, and then they start getting clogged, you know. So that's something to remember. <laughs> first products we're going to go over is soap. Personally, do not like to buy soaps that either have scents in them, dyes, nothing that's you can't naturally scent with like essential oils or herbs and spices, lavender, things like that. When you think about it, there is no essential oil of apple or pomegranates or all these random smells that get put in a lot of our soaps now. So those aren't natural. So that's the first thing I go for is try to go for natural smelling soaps or I just make my own. So I like to do more soaps that are a base of milk or oatmeal, various different oils. There's a lot of different options for oils. We have tea tree, peppermint, grapeseed, joaba oil, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Rose oil, lavender oil, eucalyptus oil, chamomile, and olive oil. So all of those oils you can actually use to make your own soaps or when you go shop for your own soaps, look for those oils. And then you can also create a base with milk, with oatmeal, with sea salts, with sugars, with coffee, all those different things to create, make your own soap. So I personally will make my own soaps out of those. <laughs> and then I will buy essential oils to make them smell a certain way. If I don't make my own soap, then I go, when I go to the store, I look for those specific soaps that are made that way. I don't get dyed or scented soaps. Protect the skin. <laughs> oh, I did forget one other one. Coconut oil. Can't forget coconut oil. I use coconut oil a lot. <laughs> I actually have a little jar here of coconut oil. I actually use, I put some coconut oil in here separate from our cooking stuff <laughs> so that this is like my beauty coconut oil. I use this to remove makeup. I use this for uh, exfoliant or moisturizer for my lips, my face, my skin, my hair. I mean you, most of you know there's so many uses for coconut oil. I will take sugar and mix it with the coconut oil and use it as an exfoliant for my lips. Same thing even if in dry spots like your elbows, knees, feet, things like that. Or a lot of times I'll put this on my feet and then put socks on my feet at night and let that sit overnight. <laughs> in, in the morning my feet are so soft and luscious. I'll also uh, mix this 
I also put this on my on my legs and I use coconut oil for everything. You can make a lot of your soaps with coconut oil too. <laughs> When I'm taking my makeup off, I do use my soap and my coconut oil to remove my makeup. When I wake up in the morning, I usually only rinse my face with water. I've been doing that for years. I actually have really oily skin. I think the more you wash your skin, get rid of the oil, your, your face is working overtime to create more oils because it needs to moisturize your face, hydrate your face. <laughs> So um, I try not to try to overly wash. Other than uh, the facial I just recently did, I never exfoliate my face. I don't do it on a regular. When I do wash my face, I'm literally use I use my uh, my ring fingers. Wash your pointer fingers, all the other fingers. You tend to push more hard with, and you can actually damage, especially around your eyes. And you don't want to damage blood vessels around your eyes. So your ring finger is actually your weakest finger. So I usually, especially when I putting stuff on my face I'm always using my ring finger when I, I'm dealing with anything on my face <laughs> gotta be gentle I exfoliated my face once a long 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 time ago I didn't like the way it felt it felt like I was scratching my face so I never did it again and I probably used the wrong product too whenever that was <laughs> and I haven't exfoliated again until I just recently did the facial but that was way more gentle on my face that was good <laughs> but other than that I do not exfoliate my face regularly moisturizers <laughs> so again I talked about my coconut oil I use the coconut oil a lot of times on um, everything <laughs> I do have a few lotions most of them are coconut oil based and they have a more they have essential oils that are in them for smells I try not to go I used to be obsessed with Bath and Body <laughs> by Bath and Body lotions like they were going out of style I was there all the time buying the latest the newest phased out of that and now I try to go for more of the natural stuff because most a lot of lotions actually have alcohol in them and that can dry out your skin I mean over the long period of time you just think what you're doing to your skin so I try to stick with the most natural purest forms of a moisturizer which will be your oils tip is as soon as you get out of the shower you as soon as you get out of the shower when your pores are all open just immediately put an oil an actual oil on your skin because that's gonna lock in moisturizer so that's what I actually do after the, after I shower every time is I immediately put an oil on my skin coconut oil and it just locks it all in makes it nice and soft and hydrated <laughs> I do not put uh, my moisturizer on my face. I know I talked about that recently on my facial video. Acne. <laughs> Some of us have a lot of it. Some of us only get a few here and there. Some of us really suffer from either large pores or acne and whatever you do, I mean, some of you have to go on medications and stuff for it because it is so bad and some of you can't help that. But for those of you that can stick with your just more natural forms, I found that tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is another very a natural form you can get at your health food store most places have tea tree oil but you can use it for so much stuff if you can stand the smell because <laughs> it's really strong I use this anytime I have acne um, bug bites anything like that q-tip I put it on all my spots and there you go it'll help dry out the areas and really clear up you know your bug bites your acne or whatever it is that you are applying to it's good for so many uses Another good thing is lemon, so we kind of went over that, lemons, honey, egg whites is really good too, like if you mix your egg whites with your uh, lemon and put it like, like a mask on your skin, that works really good too. I haven't yet tried the egg whites because I eat it all the time, <laughs> so I want to save my egg whites for my food, for my meals. I actually just recently started doing... Uh, a skin serum. This is a complex of vitamin C and E. All these things that are really good for putting collagen back in your skin, for fine lines, for wrinkles, for brightening up your face, and for any sunspots or acne scarring. We'll do about three or four drops of this and put it on my face uh, before I go to bed. So after I wash my face and there's no makeup on my face <laughs> and I put it everywhere and I just let it sit on there overnight. So vitamin E is perfect for those the scarring, for the acne, for the sunspots or any of like that. Vitamin C helps with the putting collagen back in your skin, for brightening it up, for all those fine lines and wrinkles. So that's
that's why I like to have the complex. So I just recently started doing this. Now I got this at my local natural health food store. So another great tool that a lot of us never would have thought of using is honey. Honey is also a great moisturizer and it it's great in a lot of aspects of, you know, tightening up, firming, toning your, your, your face or helping with acne, you know, just clear skin. Actually, Pure Natural Honey, this is from a local bee farm. I love that. I love also supporting local farms and you know where it's coming from. <laughs> so I like to use this. I also take a lemon personally have used for myself especially if I ever get a zit here and there on my face and I don't get that many but when there is that one ugh, don't we hate it with a passion <laughs> what I'll do is I'll cut this lemon in half <laughs> and I will put like two or three drops on top kind of smooth it around and um, after you clean your face I will take that one half and I'll rub it on any spots where there is a, a pimple or a patch of acne or <laughs> whatever it is and I'll leave that on for five to ten minutes just let it really soak in and then I'll wash it off or sometimes you can leave it on overnight another great uh, product <laughs> natural product for acne is onion or garlic if you can handle the smell <laughs> and rubbing that on your your pimples and going to bed with that at night otherwise if you don't like that stick with your honey and, and your lemon but this works I found works so good lemon is also great for really uh, anti-inflammatory so if you have any redness puffiness or anything like that really really helps to calm that down so I personally use this all the time whenever I see have those pimple moments or red moments or whatever it is I use this it works wonders and it's cheap and great for clear skin so I will do a little backstory uh, it wasn't until maybe I want to say four or five years ago that I finally had really clear skin I used to have a really bad acne and the only product I really used on my face was proactive at the time but the reason my face was breaking out all the time is I had a really bad diet I think I was eating so many process food processed foods like McDonald's and Taco Bell and <laughs> energy drinks and I was touching my face all the time like literally touching it messing with it and uh, not drinking enough water I was definitely not staying hydrated so there was a combination of things at play that caused my breakouts now when I cleaned up my diet and I started eating more whole nutrient dense nutritious food getting all my eating you know, my fruits and vegetables I mean a complex of everything drinking tons and tons and tons of water <laughs> And I stopped touching my face and I was washing it regularly and I found that my acne cleared up I didn't have to use proactive anymore. I really had never had to use anything after that cucumber <laughs> Be used you see them in movies all the time where they put the cucumbers on the eyes and stuff <laughs> cucumber actually works Amazing whenever I have puffy eyes if you were crying <laughs> Don't cry <laughs> puffy eyes whatever it is you put it over your eyes works amazing you leave it on for five or ten minutes just lay down relax put it on your eyeballs apple cider vinegar actually it can act as a toner can help with fine lines and wrinkles there's so many other benefits of actually ingesting apple cider vinegar I usually will put this on my vegetables some people will take shots of it, it also has a high amount of potassium in it as well so this is really all I do. The more natural the better, especially your face is something you want to keep young looking and beautiful for as long as you can. Like I said, the only thing I've ever used, I exfoliated my face once way in the past, I used a proactive. Other than that, I've never done any special creams or products for anti-aging or any of that stuff because it was so expensive first of all and I was always skeptical of it. I was. I was always a skeptic when it comes to stuff like that. I think I have my mom to thank for that. She was always like, you don't need that. Thanks, mom. <laughs> That's why I've done so well with my skin and why it looks the way it does. And I've kept majority of my youth. I will be 31 this year. So I've always just really, I've just, like I said, less is more. I've always been that way with my skin and maybe not so much my hair. 
<laughs> this thing has been through the ringer over the years. Sometimes my skin, I'm a little bit more mellow. I don't go crazy with buying all these like crazy products to try to um, stop aging. I just, I stick with the natural stuff. I think that, you know, I've, I've benefited from that. And when you do depend on these products and stuff, once you start using them, you have to continually use them. And I don't want it to be depending on something for the rest of my life. So I'm just sticking with honey and lemon. <laughs> A few other tips that I think has been really beneficial and you guys will benefit from too is when I wash my face or when I'm sweating with at the gym I don't whenever I'm wiping my face dry I never take a towel and rub my face like shh, shh, shh. I'm always patting dry I'm very gentle on my face even at the gym when I'm sweating I always pat so maybe that's why you guys are always like your makeup looks so good it's because I'm never like rubbing it off I usually get the little streams of sweat down the side of my face but you know you can touch that up later but I really seriously I just pat my face I'm doing anything to my face I'm very gentle I'm using that ring finger and very, very gentle <laughs> they're really really important thing I do not tan my face the rest of me might be tan <laughs> but I do not tan my face. I'm wearing sunblock. When I used to go to a tanning bed all the time, I would always cover my face or I'd put sunblock on. I would never use the facial lamps. I actually have in bed tanned in a little while. It's been a little while, so spray tan. Spray tan from my girl Cindy. Her name's Get Bronze Sunless, because you guys always ask. She also gives me a sunless do-it-yourself. <laughs> And I use that and that works really really well and the color matches amazing. So if you guys are in the local Auburn area Go see Cindy. Otherwise those of you um, I wish I could clone her and send her out to you so you could have the same tan too because it is amazing <laughs> A long time ago. I used to when I would whatever I was doing I don't even know what I was doing. I would sit like this all the time clogging pores You know and because of the heat from my hand, you know I was opening up the pores and then the oils from your hand and everything just getting stuck in there <laughs> and um, I would always break out in that spot all the time I used to touch uh, between my forehead all the time or up here again I would do this all the time I break out in those spots so I do not do that anymore so I try not to touch my face at all I think that um, really really helps with the acne as well hi Bubba come here you can say hi to me come here oh. Oh. hi oh Chris wake up from his nap I'm talking about skincare. I'm talking about the skincare. Do you need skincare too? I get the question a lot wearing uh, makeup when I go work out everyone's like oh doesn't that break out your face doesn't do this since I've you know cleaned up my diet I drink a lot of water I'm not touching my face I'm very gentle I don't break out from wearing makeup to the gym I mean I love makeup you guys know I do that as a hobby used to do it as a business a long time ago but now it's more just I love it <laughs> I just love it <laughs> I'm washing my face every single night and washing my face in the mornings um, and when I'm not going anywhere I don't wear makeup so <laughs> usually I'm just bare face Sally <laughs> and I got my bald eyebrows <laughs> but I think what really helps too is I clean my brushes every single week that's the thing that's gonna be right there for the world to see for all your life so you gotta take care of it <laughs> so I tend to get very oily up here and my chin I have an Italian Irish English background I think my dad's mom um, was almost fully Italian so there's a lot of Italian in my family on my dad's side <laughs> and then my mom's side was more Irish and English <laughs> really oily skin does come from Italians I could be wrong I don't know maybe yes. my sister doesn't have oily skin but I do like really oily. I have really oily skin and she has very fair very dry skin <laughs> So I'm always getting that shiny forehead and she never does. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions or new tips and ideas for natural ways for skincare, please share them below. Share them for me. Share them for all the, the YouTube community. <laughs> I'd love to get more tips and suggestions and ideas. But this is really all I do. So it's very simple. It's cheap. You can do it at home. Maybe this will help a lot of you with your own skincare. But I think the biggest thing, diet is water and less is more guys <laughs> all right doggies are getting wild they want to go outside it's time for our daily run 
and playing outside to get the get the wiggles out get the wiggles out <laughs> thanks you guys remember to like the video please share it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video Mwah!